Do you guys know who this cat is? Dude, this guy, he might look all conservative, white, <laughs> Anglo-Saxon conservative. This guy's a freaking hitter, okay? Hitter in the house. Hey, welcome to Network Marketing Mogul. I have a show for you. First of all, let me tell you why I'm doing this show. My name's Grant Cardone, and I am not in network marketing, but I have always loved the concept. I've loved the possibilities, the opportunity, and I'm doing this show because you have asked me, hey, Grant, do you believe in network marketing, multi-level marketing? Do you like it? What company should I be in? I tell you what, everybody, I believe this, everybody should be involved in network marketing for three reasons. Number one, the people, not the product and not the opportunity to make money. It's people, man. Look, if you don't connect with people, you're never going to have money anyway. It doesn't matter. Nobody's ever made money from their closet. So number one, you want to be around people. And the people that you're going to be around are interested in improving their selves, self-improvement, self-enhancement. That, that by itself is the biggest wealth opportunity to me in network marketing. The second and third reasons are the ones you hear about all the time. Unbelievable products. Companies like Jeunesse and Nerium and Legal Shield offer products uh, that you're not going to get in a grocery store. The stuff that's sitting on a shelf in a grocery store, for the most part, if it's in a box, it's a piece of garbage. So the products are awesome. And third is the opportunity. Today I have, because I'm not an expert on uh, network marketing, but I know when something's right, Brian Carruthers, this guy, I mean, I can't even tell you, 400,000 distributors, not distributors, what do they call it? Distributors? Associates. Yeah. In Legal Shield. He is the founder of Legal Shield. No. Nope. No? Got involved after his 27 years in business already. So. Legal Shield was in business 27 years. He comes along. He brings in 400,000 distributors responsible for 1.5 million customers. I'm not going to even tell you how much money this cat is responsible for, but it is a lot of money. But really today, I want to talk about the business, the network, the opportunity, what you know. He's written three books. The first book he wrote was Making My First 10 Million. Where can people get this book? Uh, MakingMyFirst10Million.com. Good. Uh, can you read that? <laughs> <laughs> this is for all the illiterates out there that follow me, okay? You can't read. You hate to read. You don't have time to read. You can read this, all right? I'm reading this tonight. Building an Empire, okay, network marketing business. Where can they find this? Uh, BuildingAnEmpireBook.com. Bang! This guy actually calls the website <laughs> the name of the book. And the book that you want, that I want you to get right now, okay, because me and Brian have a tremendous passion about people getting their money right is money mindset. And you wrote this book because? A lot of people that get involved in network marketing with the intent to make extra money to make their life better, unfortunately at the end of the year, their life is no better they're because broke. they're spending all the money they're making. The, the, and I'm telling you, I know legit people when I meet them, this cat sat in my office, Brian sits there and says, look, I really, you know, I'm not interested in selling a bunch of books, but I am interested in helping a lot of people. That's why I'm here. And most importantly, he said, there's too many people get in network marketing, do well, six months later they're broke again. Yep. How many times have you seen that happen? Thousands. Why, why is it happening? I think network marketing attracts a lottery mentality. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'm not saying that everybody has a lottery mentality, meaning they want something for nothing. But they see network marketing as an easier, better way to make a living. Yeah. And when they start making the money, they think that it will never end like yeah the, but the do you think you, why, why do you think that why do you think that's about network marketing because i mean i don't know what the failure rate is but i know it can't be higher than the nfl which has a 72 percent bankruptcy rate after two years of retirement i think a lot and of, i got a better chance of being a network marketer than i do a football player i do too right <laughs> right, right. I think it really comes down to when you get involved in one of these opportunity presentations you see all the success that's parade in front of you and these are average people that you say, I can do what that person's doing. Yeah. You feel like I can do this. So right, they have right, the belief right. that they can do it, which uh -huh. you need the belief to succeed in this business. And then they go out and start making money. But when you start you know, making an extra $5,000 a month in network marketing, or you take it to ten dollars or $20,000 a month, you think that this is never going to end. Like, a, like an athlete thinks they're never going to have a knee problem. Right, right. And the challenge is uh, the, the company that they're with might have some problems. Right. They might lose some of their leaders. They yeah. might, something might happen. Well, dude, I, I was in New Skin. I, I joined New Skin when I was, I guess, 27 or 28 years old. What, let me see. I, you know, probably 29, 30 years old, maybe 31 years old. Signed up 200 people in a month or 45 days. It was unbelievable. And then the FDA hit them. Mm -hmm. I was all excited and then I got scared. So the window closes for all of them or just some of them? 
Uh, no, our new scheme is still doing very, very well. Yeah. Public if I'd have stayed great. with it, I'd be making so much money today. That's a big lesson. Stay with what you're doing. Uh -huh. you know, some people, they, the first thing that comes along and it knocks them off. Well, you got to stay with it. I've been with my same company now for 17 years. And we went through short attacks. We've done through, been through a lot of things. Because is it true that any time they get really successful, sooner or later they're going to get the attention of the, who, who is it? Not the it's FDA, the but the FTC. FTC, yeah, mm -hmm. Federal Trade Commission. Right. So, so because probably they're getting some people that quit the company uh, and then say, man, reasons. I want my money back. Well, you have some people that, that go out there and start showing checks or making enticement prom, you know, prob uh, uh -huh. promises. Hey, if you get started, you know, you're going to be making $10,000 a month. So we, there's a lot of false expectations that are uh -huh. set in people's minds because people are doing, they're desperately trying to recruit people. And that's one of the main things I want to do is help people recruit people the right way with the right intentions, knowing that you have to work, you, you know, take your book, 10X, you know, the 10X rule, you got to be willing to do the work. We'll <laughs>